1857, the British went their own way and seized the Muslims from entering the British Empire. A man named Sir Said Ahmed Khan decided to change the rivalry between the British and Indian Muslims. Sir Said believed that he could take down the British with the Aligar movement. Sir Said took Indian Muslims to Britain and the Indian Muslims became as British people. Sir Said's mission was now to let Indian Muslims to Britain by creating the Aligar Muslim University. The political parties explained the Indian conditions and discussed about the drain of the wealth theory. This talked about if India were not under colonial rule, then all profits from business and trade would have been fed back into Indian development and economy. As the Indians called adjustments to the British policy, Dadabai Naroji was elected as the first Indian to the British Parliament. Dadabai Naroji called for reforms and poverty in India. During this time, there were lots of organizations and met in Bombay and formed the Indian National Congress. The Indian Congress asked the British colonial government of India to change how it rules India like increasing power of the legislative councils. More Indians to be involved in the government that they change economic extraction and for reform the land revenue system which they believe have improvised many Indians. The Congress also pointed out that the colonial government in India needed the later labor of the Sepoys who worked hard to gain a job in the government which can only be obtained through education and examination in London. Sir Said and Mani Khan believed the INC pushed elected councils who were Hindu, which led to Hindu dominance. Sir Said didn't want Muslims to be left out or killed because Sir Said wanted to take the Muslims to South Asia. The Aligar movement made India a better population and made a risk to make political parties which made on Hindu symbols and festivals. In 1893, Tilak made another festival named the Ganapati Festival, which is a memorial for the Hindu god Ganesh. Tilak believed that these festivals would show power to the people, but Tilak betrayed the Muslims by making them go to the Mughal Empire, which Tilak saw them as an example of British colonialism. Tilak made the Muslims by buying them as buying Swahidish goods or goods only produced in India. Tilak's ideas helped Indian nationalism and Hinduism.